we not talking about? Who should we be talking about this week? What do you think? Uh, Xander Shoffley. Um, Xander Shoffley is the guy that Andy just picked him on the show. I picked him before I got here. I mean, he's finished in the top ten more than half of the last majors in the last three years. I mean, he's he's finished second last year. Um, you know, he's he's going to win majors, plural. I, I, I'm convinced of that. Um, and so – at, at some point, it begins. Uh, I, it's just now's as good a time as any. But you, the thing about this course, Rich, is, as you know, is that there are there are so many players who show up and think, "Oh yeah, like Dustin Johnson, I play well there." John Rahm hasn't played here a lot; he plays well here. Justin Rose, I lost in a playoff there, and then there are all the guys that have won it that show up and think, "I can compete." So, and Justin Thomas hasn't won it yet; he's getting better every year. There's there's so many people, Rich, that come here and you and and if they won, you'd go, "Sure, of course." And there are so many guys that you think will eventually win, and then some of them, like Ernie Els and Greg Norman and Tom Weiskopf and David Duvall, never do. So, like, it's 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 a place everyone loves, and who's the guy lucky enough to be the guy that plays the best? I mean, that, that's, the, that's the thing. I, if I knew on Wednesday, I'd meet you in Vegas, and we'd never work a day again. <laughs> yes, indeed. So you like Xander Shoffley <laughs> out of the top ten players coming in. Uh, you like, I do. You like Xander. Okay. Um, let's just I say, let, top 10 guy. let's just say then if you take a second tier of players from uh-huh. ranking in the world, uh, between 11 and 20, um, mm-hmm. and you had that list in front of you, because I might've texted you about that earlier, <laughs> who would you take in that? And I might've done that homework and I might've put that list together already and <laughs> might be prepared to answer. Oh, that. Right, Scott. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, and this is just for me. To utilize, uh, let's Hideki just say Matsuyama. if okay, it, it, because if you're because if you're picking against other people, they won't yep. pick him, and they they should. He plays well here. He played well the last event he played. Mm-hmm. I like Matsuyama from those eleven through twenty. Okay, and let's just say <laughs> uh, my buddy Chris Brockman decided to put something together where there's a third tier of players right. as well. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh, between uh, twenty one and thirty two, who would you choose uh, from that? Uh, Let third me tier? give you a guy no one will have from that list because there are a lot of people that you could. Pick, but take Kokrak at 24, oh, no. who just won in Vegas and hits the ball a mile. Again, I'm trying to give you some people I don't think others would select because yes. they're not as smart as me. Jason Kokrak. <laughs> oh. By the way, if, if uh, Kilbourne... No one will have that person. If you Ki- will. No if, one else will. I appreciate that. If Kilbourne was doing still doing Sports Center, it'd be Jason Kokrakatella. Right. That's that's there you go. Think, uh, all right. Uh, tier four. Let's just say <laughs> let's just keep going on all the tiers uh, between 34 and 45. Um, who do you think's got to be the next three without stopping? <sighs> yes. Uh, your next tier. I want you to take a dog. Kevin Kisner. You got to putt it around here. Kisner putts it well. And, yeah. and lo- obviously, like everyone else loves it. He's played here like 60 times. Mm-hmm. Kisner in your 40 tier. Jason Day, I can't believe, is available still. This is like when you draft in your fantasy draft. You yeah. look up and someone's still there. Yeah. Day is in the 50s, a major champion, way too good to be yeah, ranked at that space that? and still get him. And then, again, no one's going to have my main man, Lanto. <laughs> Lanto. What? Is he on Lanto. the Mandalorian? Lanto Griffin. <laughs> That's my guy. Yeah. What, what? He competed well at the PG. Again, I'm just I'm trying to give you because if we're doing like drafts and everyone's going to have some version of the same thing. But yes. if you if you have Matsuyama, Kokrak, Kisner, and Lanto, you'll be the, standing by yourself, and it might be worthless. Like by by Thursday night, it might absolutely be worthless. Yes. But uh, that's who I scribbled down. That's who I scribbled down, Rich. Lanto Calrissian Griffin. Right. Exactly. There you go. All hey, right. What? <laughs> yeah, ESPN Plus. Uh, me and Booker. Hey. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.